Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about possibly the most bizarre Reddit post I've ever seen. And the Reddit post is Jessica Epsfan is Magic's first ever female Magic Grand Prix winner at GP Sydney. This was submitted 17 hours ago by X Light X, which I believe you're seeing his picture right now. And it was upvoted 3,106 times. So congratulations to Jessica. The post is rather confusing because some people, and I'll show you some comments, have, they felt like Jessica, I mean, when you read this post and then you see the picture, you're kind of confused. What is this guy doing, you know, in this particular post? And it was a tweet. So interestingly enough, there was no video videos of the first female Magic Grand Prix winner. Uh, there was no... This would be a very good event to document to do one of those videos that, that Nate do, do, does where you document uh, and talk to people and their experiences. It would be good to get an interview from her but we didn't have any of this. Instead, we had Twitter. Now, eventually, a Wizard of the Coast page was published to congratulate Jessica on winning, but the only source we had at this time was someone's Twitter profile. So the post about a first ever female Grand Prix winner, thumbnail is a dude. Congrats, and here's to many more. Uh, this is so cool. Thanks for sharing. I hope many more female players may follow her footsteps. That is awesome. So disappointing this moment wasn't captured on coverage. So that's kind of a, a complaint I have is how was this not covered? Because you could, you can see that she was doing good. There was a top eight uh, she must have made. There was a top 16 she must have at some point in time, they knew this was going to happen where you would have the first female Grand Prix winner, which is a historical event. That is something that we do need in this game and something that has been a long time. Magic has just celebrated 25 years. I know during the early years, we didn't have Grand Prix and things of that nature, but let's say, let's call it an odd 20 years of high level GPs where we didn't have a female winner until just recently. So I think that was a big flaw. Uh, a lot of times when, you know, what would be great marketing to promote to more females to be competitive would be an interview of this Jessica person, would be a tail, you know, a high edit video. They used to do these really interesting videos. Um, the guy was called Nate Holdgreen or something like that, and he was hired by Wizard of Coast to produce kind of these indie flicks, and they were very, very good. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't really seen any recent stuff from him. I'm guessing he got fired. But that's what happens when you do a good job, right? So anyway, um, my point would be, man, some of these posts are uh, quite interesting i'm not going to highlight them now because many of them have been deleted this whole fred has been blocked as of the time of this video the photo picture is not jessica well done for the win for the team but i and many people i know personally cannot stand playing games of magic against her she is miserable to play against tries to angle shoot with multiple arbitrary judge calls a match incredibly inconvenient when the judge is also her boyfriend so we see something like this happening i cannot verify if this is true or not but my my opinion is um, maybe someone in the comments can let me know is her boyfriend a judge that would definitely be interesting and does he call does the angle shoot and call judges a lot can we get an edit and link directly to her Twitter feed? You can't edit a link. So there's many things going on which makes this the most awkward Reddit post I've ever seen. First of all, you have the official announcement being somebody's Twitter profile who is not Jessica. Secondly, there's no video coverage of this. And thirdly, you have people 
accusing her of arbitrarily judge, you know, angle shooting and all of this being miserable to play against. So congrats to her. Too bad I couldn't catch the stream. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think it was streamed. The coverage consisted of a Twitter post of the end of each round. Really disappointing. So that is... I mean, there's many different things that when you combine them together, it makes it the most interesting Reddit post I've ever read. Number one, half, I would say maybe 20% of the people are looking at the picture of the dude reading Jessica blank blank is the first female magic player and having questions as to is this actually a female magic player. Um, and secondly, you have the video coverage where half the people are saying that they saw her and congratulating her or they missed the stream or they saw her in stream when in fact there was no stream. So these people were lying. And the fact of the matter was they got results from a Twitter feed because there was no video coverage. Uh, and people are, are defending them uh, for this. If my local game store can do video coverage and it has then Wizard of the Coast can definitely afford video coverage, right? So I'm very, very shocked. Or if Star City Games can do it, especially like at some point in time, they have to realize how historical this is. And then lastly, people are accusing her of angle shooting and that her boyfriend is also the judge. Wow, this comment section is a garbage fire. Why, yes, yes, it is. Um, Mod, can we have this link directly to Jessica's Twitter and not the reporting post? On the flip side, you basically have a race to the bottom. And the race to the bottom is when people are trying their best to post like ridiculous stuff on Reddit just so their picture shows up and then people can link to their Twitter. I'm going to show you another example of this on the official Magic Tumblr blog where they have a picture of an attractive female. And it has the attractive female, I don't think is related at all to the contents of this Tumblr blog. Like I clicked on the link and I would, like I'm confused. So you have a lot of like, when separately they're all interesting, but combined, this makes it such an awkward post. Um, the post was executed poorly. There was no video coverage. You have half the people lying that they've seen the video streaming, although no streaming occurred. You have other people saying that she was cheated because her boyfriend is a judge, which I cannot confirm or deny. And yeah, something that should be relatively positive where it should actually be 100% positive where we all say, yes, we did it. Congratulations, Jessica. It's so great to have our first female Grand Prix winner is now kind of mirrored or mired in just random drama, right? And that's what our community really is about. It didn't start off well. It started off with a guy who wanted his face on the most popular, and this was the most popular. Like anyone could have done it, right? Wizards of the Coast made a official article moments later and we could have all waited for that and then we could have posted that but no we posted some random guy's twitter feed with his picture titled jessica apps fan is magic's first ever female grand prix winner at gp sydney would it surprise me that x lake tickets that was his Twitter feed. No, I can't confirm or deny that it is his Twitter feed, but it would not surprise me at all. So that's number one. That's slightly confusing why there's a male picture when the title is titled that way. Number two, how ridiculous is it that this historical event was happening and no one was streaming it? No one had video coverage. There was no interviews. There literally was tweets. And that's how it was reported. In today's era of technology, just get out your iPhone and do an interview. I mean, come on now. And lastly, the whole judge or uh, angling and 
the boyfriend being a judge, it kind of smells like Gamergate almost. Um, but so that's her picture. And this is the article. It would have been much better had this been the article. The link. It would be less confusing. And I don't think we would have as... It is very confusing. So on Reddit, like, I don't know what's going on with it. But again, another instance where it's uh, probably by this time it will be downloaded. Is this really attractive female who is supposedly like into magic. Let me actually read it to you right now. I'll pull up a screenshot later. April 16th, 2018, Commander Ban List Changes announced eight bans, four unbans, and it's from the Wizards MTGO Tumblr.com. I did this this person play magic? Because I don't thinks he does if you click the link that this person is not anywhere to be found on the tumblr so why is her uh why is her image being promoted on the front page of reddit anyway that is it bye guys